What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to yet another video of the Pokemon Trading Card Game unboxing and pack opening. And I can't even just fathom what's in front of me right now. We have the thing that I've been waiting for since Japan got it because, oh my goodness, it's amazing. And I'm, uh, I really want to know your guys' personal opinion on this. So in Japan, you had to get lucky to pull these cards, okay? They were a part of a, uh, a subset, best of XY, and you had to get lucky to pull these cards, okay? In English version, they are giving you the cards, and that's it. So you're paying for this box here. Uh, it retails for a whopping $100 or $99.99, um, but you guys can pick it up for cheaper than that. I'm almost positive Cycle Turtle is going to have it for cheaper. I should have looked up the prices. I'm sorry. But uh, make sure you guys head over to Psycho Turtle uh, Collectibles right there. Facebook page, PsychoTurtleGames.com. Uh, and make sure that you guys uh, do check out this out. You can pick up this product from them for a lot cheaper than you would if you bought it from a game shop. And if you're stumbling upon this video and you've already purchased this and you paid full retail, sorry to hear that. Uh, make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel so that way you guys can see all the videos um, that we get. Look at that. You can see me. Oh, my goodness. Right there. Um, so make sure you guys do subscribe so you guys can stay up to date. Uh, obviously, I don't expect you to watch all my videos. Uh, but any video that you support really, really is greatly appreciated. Um, and we will go through all this stuff. This video, I was contemplating not making it uh, just because you guys already know what I'm going to get. Uh, but then I thought, maybe there's a one subscriber on my channel who's not subscribed to anyone else. Or you just stumble upon this video for the first time and uh, you've never seen it before. So I said, you know what, I'm going to make this video for you guys. Um, I don't like to open up Pokemon products unless it's like a single random pack uh, without you guys. I like to spend this time with you guys. Uh, I, try to, I try to stay away from watching other people's videos on this because uh, I want to be kind of like surprised-ish. I know what's in here. But at the same time, I want to be kind of surprised with you guys and experience this awesome collection box. Uh, because, you know, this product is a hefty price tag. I already said it. It's very, very expensive. And a lot of you guys aren't going to be able to afford it. Uh, and I fully get that. Um, so that's why we're making this video to open it up with you guys. For those who aren't so fortunate uh, and can't purchase this product. Or for the ones who just like supporting me. Uh, and you just come out and support me day in and day out. Uh, this video is for you guys, okay? So to start things off, this box is awesome. I'm going to give you Pokemon Company, Pokemon Trading Card Company, Pokemon International. You guys made an amazing looking box. And just the box alone has already got me hooked with those beautiful cards in the front. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and pop these bad boys out. Uh, hopefully do it as safely as possible. There's so much goodness in here. That it can't even fit it all on the camera. I'm so excited to open this up. I've actually been waiting for this product for a long time. Uh, because, like I said, I've been waiting for it to come out in English. Uh, let's see how this comes out. How does this work? Ah, that's how it opens. I was opening it the wrong way and almost broke it. Alright, let's slowly pull these out. Because these are very, very expensive cards. I believe this card I'm pulling out right now, this full art N, goes for a whopping $60 um, just for this one card um, right here. So this is the full art N, probably the most hype card, most exciting card in this box. Everyone wants this card. It is so amazing looking. It is just gorgeous and it is one of the most playable cards in this box and I I think I'm looking at it right now. This is probably a Gen Mint 10. It might be a 9 just because there's, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm not a grader. I was thinking about getting this card graded just to see. Um, if you guys don't know, if you guys are stumbling upon this video, um, we have opened up a eBay store um, and we are selling cards um, because I would like to keep running this channel. Uh, I don't want it to run into the ground and you we just stop. Um, so we opened up an eBay store, and I might be selling these cards on there. So if you are interested in any of these cards, leave a comment down below. Message me on Twitter, uh, wherever. Um, if it's on here, a uh, YouTube messenger. If you would like to pick one of these cards up um, before I post it on YouTube or eBay, let me know. Or that goes with any video. If you guys really, really want a card uh, opened by myself, um, just let me know in either a message or whatnot, and we will go ahead and uh, give you guys priority because you guys are my subscribers. Uh, which is really awesome. So this one does have whiting on it. 
Um, so let's see what card this is. It is Team Flare Grunt. So another very, very cool card um, from, uh, what's what what series is this from? I, uh, my brain's not working. That's Generations, right? So this is the full art from Generations, I do believe. Discard an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Okay, getting the next one. I believe this is Shaman. Uh, let's check out the quality. There is a little bit whiting in that bottom right-hand corner. Uh, so let's sleeve it up. And I believe this is going to be the Full Art Shaman. It is the Full Art Shaman EX. Very nice. Um, a very, very playable card from Roaring Skies. And the last card should be that Secret Rare Eveltal. I can't even get it. Uh, come on. There we go. All right. Where you are not trying to damage any of these cards. If you guys want to skip ahead, there is two packs in here. Uh, but for those who are watching every second of this, you guys are awesome. This is a promo card, Eveltal EX with Evil Ball and Y Cyclone. And those are the four cards on the front. Um, the two most exciting cards, of course they're going to put it in the window, is N and Shaman. And then we have the Eveltal and Team Flare Grunt as well. Okay. I'm going to set those off to the side. We'll recap them later. Let's close up that part of the box. Here we go. Closing it up. Okay. There we go. And let's move on to the next cards that are just laying in here. Uh, we got to pull off the plastic. Oof. Okay, here we go. Let's pop all these bad boys out. Hopefully these come out just as easy as the other ones did. They did a fantastic job at unbox or boxing this up, making sure that none of these cards get damaged. Uh, it makes sense because this is a very, very expensive product, um, and they want to make sure that nothing gets damaged in shipping, nothing gets damaged in um, all that good stuff. So shipping, movement, all that. So we'll get these cards sleeved up and we'll look them over in just a second. A lot of these cards are still kind of playable. And um, so they are still playable. So that is very nice that they are playable. Um, some are not playable just because they fall into a set that is now out of rotation. Uh, but some of them are still playable. I keep saying the same thing over and over again because I'm just so hyped. Uh, our first card that is not textured. So all these cards are full art textured except the one that I just pulled out, which I'll show you guys in a second. Okay, there's that. Let's pull out that, and we'll go ahead and throw that on the ground. We'll grab the rest of these cards. I got one, two, three, four more cards after this one to take care of, and then we will go ahead and review them all. Oh no, unprepared. We ran out of perfect fit sleeves. What's wrong with me? You guys don't know if you guys were wondering, these are the sleeves I use. The uh, KMC Perfect Fit. You know where I'm on Amazon uh, for, I forget how much they are, but they are a little bit more than penny sleeves. Uh, but they keep your cards really, really secure. And uh, they are definitely who I recommend. If you guys want to sleeve your cards up, keep them safe. Um, that is how I sleeve up my cards. And then I put a penny sleeve over them. And that's what these are designed to do. Okay, we go ahead and throw that down. Whew, sorry, this video is already eight minutes in and we haven't really showed too much. Um, I'm sorry for that. It's just this product is very, very awesome, very, very huge, and full of great content. Okay, last card, and then we will move on to the rest of it. Some of these cards I will be using. Um, on the PTCGO uh, because I play Metagross deck and a lot of these cards get involved with Metagross. Okay, uh, that's all the cards, so we'll go ahead and review them and then we'll get into the rest of the stuff. So the only card that is not textured is right here. We have the Jirachi Full Art uh, with Stardust and Dream Dance with 60 HP. Not textured. Uh, it's one of like the Full Arts from... Um, what's it called? The Full Arts from the Generation series. Those, um, not textured, but still full art. Then we have Karen, which is an amazing looking art on Full Art Trainer. I love Full Art Trainers. This is a promo card from XY, um, and I do use one of these in my Metagross deck. Um, each player shuffles all Pokemon into his or her, her discard pile into their deck. So that's what that does. We have Hex Maniac, which is another very playable card out of rotation, but it is so awesome to see a full art version we have Blacksmith, which is a really, really old card from Flashfire. 
uh, early XY set, but it's amazing to see that have a full art now. We have Shauna. Shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw five cards from Fates Collide. We have Delinquent, uh, which is a very playable card still. Uh, an amazing art on this from Breakpoint. We have Aegis Slash from Phantom Forces. We have Regirock from Fates Collide, which that's a beautiful art. A Mega Sharpedo EX, which is a promo. If you guys don't remember, the, uh, a while ago, we opened up a Mega Sharpedo EX box, and this card was in there, so this is the full art version of it. Same thing goes with the Camera Up, which I do have the pins back there. Oh, they're way at the top. Uh, actually, yeah, the Sharpedo one's right there. You guys can see it right where my figure's at. The Mega Camera Up is way up there. Uh, but there he is right there, Mega Camera Up, and that was it for the full arts. So what do we get? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven full art Pokemon. So seven full art Pokemon. And then we get, let's see, get all these awesome cards. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven full art trainers. So seven and seven. You have 14 cards. Uh, here to at your disposal and some of them are still playable in standard format and the two most expensive cards out of this box are the two right here uh, N and Shaman I believe that card's decent all these cards go for a decent amount of money uh, if you get this box at a cheap price um, I would say you have made your money because these cards are very expensive uh, to a collector and to a player. Um, that's enough about that. Let's move on to the next stuff that you get. You get a Pikachu coin, which I am so using this coin when I go to another pre-release or a event. Um, and you get the Pikachu tail right there. It is actually made of metal. Um, there we go. Uh, it's made of metal. It's got a decent amount of weight to it. So it's a very, 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 very nice coin, either heads or tails. I like that a lot. I'm not going to pull them all out, but we do get X, Y dice. So here's the X, and here is the Y. So X and Y dice right there. These are the clear, so I hold up to the light, really, you can see it. Uh, so you can use these to roll your dice to see who goes first kind of thing, if you don't want to do the coin flip. And we also have the damage counters for X and damage counters for Y right there. Very nice damage counters. Um, very good detail on those damage counters. That alone is also, this box, I would say, just reaps of value, uh, because there's so, it's, it's so collectible. I just don't know how to explain it. Um, we're going to set this off to the side, but those are all the dice right there. So much collectability in this product. And I mean, it's not great for a YouTuber because I can't really, there's nothing unique in here. Uh, but we have the Xerneas box um, and the Avelta on the back. This is a double deck box. Um, I probably, I'm not going to open it. Uh, whatever, we'll open it. We'll open it. I was not going to open it, but we're going to open it. That's okay. You guys might want to see what's inside, so we'll open it up. Okay. Here we go. So it is, an, it is a plastic, plastic deck box um, with a magnetic little thing to it. And you can put, hello, my name is DeLongMan71. Um, and you can have that right there. So you can put this in there uh, just in case you forget it or leave it. You have your name right there. Um, hopefully, the wherever you're playing at um, gives it your box back, your deck box. So it fits two standard size decks. Uh, it's got the sleeves in it. These are plastic. Oh, we got Jits. There's not two Xerneases in here. There's only, oh, okay. Oh, never mind. So we have Eveltal, Xerneas, uh, Eveltal, and Xerneas right there. Um, so they are plastic, and they do have, um, so they are scratchy on the back of them. Uh, that's cool. So you can fit your deck in here. You can build a Xerneas deck. You build a Veltal deck, and you put them next to each other, and now you have a dual deck for your dual deck box. Uh, it's very thick, very, very hard plastic, and it, like I said, it is magnetic. Very, very good quality. Okay, like I said, you're getting extreme value out of this product. I'm not lying. This is great value. We have the Xerneas and Eveltile sleeves. Honestly, the only thing I gripe about this box is the artwork, okay? This artwork just feels 
lame to me. I, I mean, you guys, I'm giving you my honest review of this. I'm not trying to get you guys hyped up to go buy it and everything like that. Um, but the artwork looks kind of, um, it's not as clean as it could be, is what I'm trying to say. Same thing with the deck box. It's very, very good quality. Very, very nice. And the sleeves are the same standard Pokemon quality, which is pretty good. Uh, and the last but worst part of this box is going to be what I'm about to show you next. We got the code card. Is you get two packs of two sets that are not in rotation. That is insult to injury if you do, if I do ask, say so myself. Um, the box is cool. Got the cool looking box. A plus on that. Um, I'm just, it's just awesome. But you give two packs in a $99 box of cards that aren't even in rotation. That hurts. Uh, but I get it. I get why they did X, Y. It makes sense. But why, sh why the Roaring Skies and why the Primal Clash? Don't really get it. Uh, at all. It doesn't make sense to me. Um, but hey, it's whatever. You get two packs. Uh, so we're gonna open this up. Maybe we could pull a full art shaman and this box would be awesome. Even though it is amazing. It's godly. And I'm probably not gonna pull anything out of these two packs. Uh, but if I do, it just makes the box so much more worth it. Starting things off with the first one. Let's not do the sun and moon card trick. Let's do the XY card trick. We have a horsey to start things off. Skitty, Tangela, Trico, Honage, Grova, a Shield Energy, a Kakuna, a Reverse Seal, and the rare is a Ninetales non hollow rare. So I figured I would not get anything out of two packs from two different sets, but uh, let's see what we get in Roaring Skis. I have yet to pull a Shaman. Um, really? I don't know. I, I think I pull, I don't know if I pulled a Shaman or not. I really have no idea right now. I don't think I pulled a Shaman before. I don't think so, but I could be wrong. Um, I honestly don't remember. I've never pulled a full art Shaman. I can say that, but I don't know if I pulled a Shaman. I'm not sure. You guys will have to let me know if you guys watch all my videos. You guys can let me know. But we have a Bagon, be back on a Fletchling, Wingle. Not to how do you do? We just got three birds in a row. Illuminati confirmed. Okay. A Dratini. Glade Spirit Link. A Revive. Tranquil. Another bird. A Glagar. And the rare is going to be a Carbink. None. Hollow rare. So like I said, didn't get anything out of those two packs, not expecting them. This box is far beyond my belief. I didn't think they would come out with a product this jam-packed. What did I say? I didn't pull anything. I pulled 14 amazing cards in this box. Uh, and that is it for this video, guys. Make sure you guys do check out all the links in the description down below. Make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Smash the like button on this product. Let me know in the comments down below. Did you get this product? And do you think you do you feel the same I same way I do? And uh, you think this product is amazing and worth every cent? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye everybody. Bye guys.